This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Hipster Axe. Now, this is quite the interesting game. It's about hipsters trying to push out the, the local people. Here we can see them being hipsters. You can tell because they've got beards and glasses. Uh, but you take back the streets in in some amazing physics. Some amazing physics there. So we've got Manolito there and Juanita there. Uh, they're going to kill the hipsters. Because that is the fantasy of everyone. I, I don't know why when they die they just kind of shudder and shake. Like they're, not, like they're out of Jacob's Ladder or something. Maybe that's where hipsters come from. I don't know. So yeah, basically, this is... I mean, there could be something to be said here. Some social commentary about gentrification. About how... Um, locations often push out uh, the people who have been living there all their lives. Who have had entire communities and families kind of destroyed because their towns become the local hotspot and it's driven up prices and closed down local businesses and all of that. Um, but instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to make fun of the hipster buzzword and have someone's head pop off <laughs> like a pop-up pirate. <laughs> it's an energetic trailer though. Um, you know, it's got a, it's got some nice driving music to it, which covers up the fact that it it just looks like a really shoddy Saints Row, like a kind of Saints Blow, if you will. Um, yeah, it's kind of a, a a bad game that looks very edgy. But yeah, they mentioned gentrification at the end. Uh, something tells me that the game is less about making that statement and more about dragging out the one note hipster joke from Grand Theft Auto V into a full fledged game. But, but, yeah, good good for them. Let's look at the description. Uh, a lot of people wanted me to cover this game for some reason. I have no idea why. Uh, your neighbourhood has become infested with annoying hipsters. You must rid the entire neighbourhood of them before the rents go up and you will be forced to move to New Jersey. Ironically, we will provide you with a large axe that can be used to chop and dismember the invading foes. I don't know what... The I don't know what the irony is. Is that the same kind of irony that as rain on your wedding day? I guess it is. It's like an axe in your hipster. The game includes a wide variety of hipsters that you can chop up for your enjoyment. I thought you were doing this to stop the rent going up. Anyway, only you and your axe can save Brooklyn from the hipster invasion. Stop the gentrification and restore the crime. I don't think that's the point of fighting gentrification. I don't think... I don't think... Upping the crime rates is what anybody wants, apart from criminals, I guess. While exploring the ghettos and industrial wastelands of Brooklyn, you will be able to mercilessly slaughter legions of hipsters. I think we already got that bit nailed down. Explore the subway with all of its filth and glory. <laughs> They're the two things I look for in subways, filth and glory. Find and unlock powerful weapons. Turn hipsters into roadkill with vintage vehicles. Fly through the sky with helicopters. And for those of you who are concerned that chopping up hipsters is mainstream, ironically, we have been doing it since before it was cool. Again, with that use of uh, ironically. I think these guys are the anti-Ubisoft, where they use the word iconically wrong. These people use ironically wrong. Yeah. Repulse is the name of the studio. Uh, not a bad name. Uh, an apt name. Um, is this memes? Uh, you know, I've got to say that, get that catchphrase out of the way at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, it does nothing for me. Um, if it if it ends up on Greenlight, and it seems one of those ones that's controversial enough to do so, I'll play it, but uh, I probably won't enjoy it. It looks very humdrum, but it, it's wrapping itself in the shrouds of edginess to try and... Uh, try and make itself appear more interesting and intriguing than it actually is uh, when it's really just a a bad game that's kind of just like violent goat simulator except you're upping the crime rate by hitting men with beards beards do nothing for me personally uh, I don't like having them I don't like them uh, rubbing up against my smooth baby's face uh, but I wouldn't chop them a, a person with an axe for having it so yeah that's hipster axe anyway 